Well, um, I'll tell you something, getting ready for Super Bowl 58, uh, we're ready here in Las Vegas, I think, and certainly back in Kansas City, grocery stores are ready as well. Shoppers are getting ready to stock up for those Super Bowl parties, and KNBC 9's Peyton Headley is live to show us how to prepare. Peyton. Right, well, the Super Bowl spread is arguably one of the best parts about Sunday, but it's important to know how long your food has been sitting out before you dive in. It's been busy at the High V in Gladstone. You ready for the game this weekend? Yep. All right. Got a perks card there. 102.16. Shoppers are gearing up for the big game. I have my list. Shoppers like Danita Katita. I have drinks, pretzels, crackers, got wings, dip, all of it. She's getting her grocery run done before the pre-Super Bowl rush this weekend. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. As football fans get ready and get cooking, for watch parties across the country, it's a good time for a reminder on just how long you should leave your Super Bowl snacks out on the table. I would say hour and a half just to be safe. Chef Charles Humphrey with University Health says not to eat anything that's been sitting out for more than two hours. So you're not getting sick, you're not gonna go home and feel like what just happened. He recommends splitting your snacks into two portions. You like your charcuterie boards, you know, maybe do small charcuterie boards. Keep part in the refrigerator and keep part out. Someone specific designated to watch the time and the food helps too. You want to feel great the next day. It's a game plan to make sure fans leave feeling fantastic. Feel fantastic about the game. I think we're going to win it. All right. You have a lovely day, ma'am. Thank you. You too. Thanks. And we have special coverage leading up to Super Bowl 58.